it just makes it just makes making highlights super easier. So the question is, do I have a SNES 9X capture already set up? Because uh, I certainly do have one million jillion window captures. Oh, it is, but it's on, <laughs> but it's not. It's obviously not working. Okay, so we'll just delete that. Oh, jeez, that was probably causing all kinds of problems, actually. But. Okay. More or less where we left, though. This goes on YouTube as well. Hmm. Indeed. Okay. So we'll just do a quick copy, copy, and uh, go from there. Do a quick check on my hard drive today. What? Why in the Lord have mercy is it 242 megabytes? And we're almost at hard drive space too. Oh, because there's a bunch of ROMs in here. Public domain stuff. Okay. There isn't actually any cheats in the cheats folder. It's a bunch of public domain rooms. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. By the way, for the record, it's the hero honest that is determined by a mini game. That's nothing wrong with that. It is simple. Simple's good. It's not a bad thing. This is not actually where the YouTube left off, but I guess I guess I've played some more since then. I don't know what to tell you. I guess just less spoilers. tell this remake of the NES game is uh, well regarded as being one of the better of the series and you can just tell from just the sound effects from the animations it's better than most of the games in the series and it was predates them by quite some time
generally it's funny, the boomerangs are actually not weaker than the swords you can have at that time in the game. Enix, what would later be merged with Square to become Square Enix? Well, well before Final Fantasy cashed in on all of its remakes, Dragon Quest had a habit of remaking every game in the series on the next generation of consoles. Much like Pokemon is starting to do on the second to next generation of consoles. I have no idea where I'm going though. I've actually never beaten Dragon Quest 3. I'm just familiar. The intro sequence kind of crips a lot from Ultima and uh, the old Elder Scrolls games. I guess this actually predates the old Elder Scrolls game. But it's quite famous. What did he say? I'm not listening to any of this dialogue and that's usually why I fuck with him. A magic ball. Didn't we just get that from like the other guy? Just a second ago? Jeez Elise. Alright, hold on. What did he say? No. Well, actually I don't know if we do or not. Uh, me and Pancakes were actually talking about Hammer Space in video games, and you'll notice that uh, Dragon Quest gets around Hammer Space by having you—you you don't actually have Hammer Space. Your your bag has Hammer Space. You can carry an unlimited amount of items in your bag, but not on your person, and that means that you can only have so many medicinal herbs in a fight. And that's that's important to Dragon Quest. I mean, it's just part of the game. It's what separates it from Final Fantasy in the sense that I can't have 99 healing items in any battle. But the, the battles are balanced differently. You'll notice Final Fantasy, you have 99 Phoenix down because you're likely to die every 10 seconds. Whereas here, dying is a huge drain on time and resources. You don't ever want to die. There's, you get one, you graze a leaf, if that. In all fairness, though, at this point in the game, strategy takes a backseat. And for most of the game, strategy does take a backseat. You are just attacking over and over again. But, uh, when you get in over your head, you do have strategic options. And you need to use them. So you gotta go to Reef. Also, enemies don't necessarily kill you. They wear you down. You forgot to ask what? Preseason. But I appreciate the question. <laughs> you know that's just a big joke, right? But whatever, yeah. Preseason. This is the holidays. This is special holiday season. Season. It's not really a preseason, it's a holiday season season.
this. How would I get to this? But geez, aren't the animations in this Dragon Quest 3? They're better than Dragon Quest 7. And in their own kind of 2D way, they're better than 8 or 9. But obviously, is this Reeve? I don't even know if this is Reeve or not, honestly. It's just, this is just, I, like, this is considered the graphical powerhouse of the series. And it's just a remake of the NES game. But, I mean, it was, like, a, it was a very last Super Nintendo game. It was, like, the end of a generation, this uh, Dragon Quest Three remake. There was, of course, on Super Nintendo, Dragon Quest Five and Six, And they look amazing, and they were great games. Don't get me wrong. They're, I mean, Five especially, is better than this game. But this game just looks amazing. It's just one of those games that just is so visually gorgeous. I mean, probably better looking than any RPG on Super Nintendo anyways. You could argue Lunar looks a little bit better, but it's a little bit muddier. Like, this game, like, it looks realistic cartoony. Does that make any sense? Like, look at those trees, but it's clearly a cartoon. So. Are we in fucking Reeve or not, man? Just, like... Oh, you know what? While we're playing this game, though, I do need to do something. Yeah, we actually went over there. Um, are we in Reed, though, or what? Like, come on. So strange. Every other Dragon Quest game, the first thing anybody says to you is what town you're in. But whatever. Oh, this is my. This see, I was playing Dragon Quest Six, and I thought that this, like, I got the towns confused. Yeah, yeah. I went to this same house and talked to everybody in here trying to get a free heal, but uh. Just so you know, this is spoilers. The Easter egg I'm about to show you, but I want. I really wanted. Somebody mentioned it, and I wanted to. Uh, I guess I mentioned it as as usual, but uh. But I just wanted to, uh... By the way, is that... I can't see if... Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I wanted to... Yeah, this is the English translation, but the re the other everything else about the remake is from official Enix. And, by the way, Armor Project is an independent company. Yuji Hori is technically freelance. Enix does not technically own Dragon Quest. This intro is amazing, but we're not gonna we're not gonna watch it, unfortunately. I was, you know, people are talking about the best game intro on Game Facts, and they're guess what they say, Kingdom Hearts and all that stupid crap. All of the Dragon Quest games, as far as RPGs go, and X Men Two Clone Wars. Without a doubt, X-Men 2 Clone Wars has the best opening because it doesn't have an opening. I really want to do that. Okay. Wait, because it was translated from Japanese, this isn't going to work. Oh, it's not gonna work. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go save. Just in case it deleted my save just now. Because usually when you do save saves, it actually reloads the save RAM onto. Wait, oh, this is the mercenary house. This opening town is kind of cool though. Church. Maybe I'm old, but maybe you do it at the castle. Who knows?
It's not, it's not, it's amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's not really, it's, it's a bunch of jokes and easter eggs, it's not really, it's not really an intro to the game. Well, I mean, uh, that one that we kept getting over and over again was an exception, but it's, it's completely random which one you get. Oh, I can love something, it doesn't make it the best ever. They were asking what the best ever was. Um, so it's a shame that I, got a, a, I did all that work and I opened it up and closed it immediately. But, I feel like this has to get be covered, this Easter egg. If we're going to be talking about Dragon Quest, uh, old Dragon Quest, uh, 3, we gotta talk about the Easter egg that's in Dragon Quest. Uh, if you would just excuse me just a moment. I'm just supposed Dragon Warrior 3 is actually. Alright, let's see if it works. Type it in wrong? Is that even not the name? Ah, oh, fuck. I can't remember. Jesus. Where's the fucking reset button? Okay. It's fun. You know what? Lack of interest peaked. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you what the problem is. Maybe I can't remember the character's name. I'm just that much of an idiot. Okay. So, yeah. Back, back to Dragon Quest 3. Dragon Quest 3. Much more significantly awesome. Honestly, I, there's like there's no excuse not to play this version as opposed to the DS version or the NES version. This is just such a best. It's just speaking of best of all time. Let's talk about best remake of all time. This has got to be it. It wasn't released in America, and usually on those top ten lists, they don't do games that weren't released in America. But best remake of all time? Dude, they, they, they might as well have made a new game. I mean, that's actually my biggest problem with remakes in general, is you might as well. Just tell me where the hell Reed is. I'm gonna lose my damn mind. All right, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do it the honorable way. I'm sorry. We're gonna go to Game Facts. We're gonna find out where the fuck Reeve is. Okay. Does that make me a bad guy? I probably already even have this uh, like FAQ probably like saved in my computer. But... Trying to trip over it. Okay. Give me a guide. Okay, whatever. Okay. So. Oh. Najima Tower. Re Village. Mm -hmm. Alley Heat. I knew that wasn't it. Re well, where is Re Village? 
But now we're going this way. Okay. So I've been to Reed Village because you got to go there before you get to Najima Tower. So I have been there. I just didn't get the magic ball. I didn't think I needed some dope. So. We did grind and get all the... I don't remember. I think that's all the best equipment we can get here. I'm not sure. That's not the village. I know a village when I see one and that ain't one of them. Okay. So that's where you go to go to Najima Tower. We already went to Najima Tower, I'm almost sure of it, so. Guess I was wrong. Oh, that was that was completely bad. I should have not have done that. No, oh, I guess it all works out. There, that's the stupid village. All right. There you see? That's exactly what I wanted to fucking hit. Okay. Oh wait, do we have to add that? Great, apparently. <laughs> What's up with this guy? Reminds me of uh, your buddy in Dragon Quest VI. Four twenty, blaze it! Yolo swag. Let me turn my hat to the side. And have absolutely no pride. Let me wear my hat indoors. Oh wait, hold up. Hold up. What the hell does uh M get? Turtle shells look really cool in Dragon Quest IX, but they're outdated really fast. And you can't uh, alchemy them into something better either. I don't think.
Let me guess. They just moved all of her stuff. Great. Hey, it's an old game. Well, at least this is a little bit more streamlined than you would expect it to be. Okay. It's actually okay for now, right? Okay, that's fine. Thought I had more medicinal herbs. Usually had a lot by now, but we're actually not that far into the game. Can I only save in the main town? What is this? Nintendo NES days? Or Nintendo Entertainment System days? Whatever. Haha. <laughs> Can't be serious. Okay. Horsey! Horsey! What class? Actually, I don't even remember. Oh, good. Okay, just some RNG manipulation real quick. Hmm, no. That is like a cleric, right? Yeah. I knew it's since I saw that pot that there was going to be a magic ball in there somewhere. Pot. Balls. Just a, it's just a science. Not oh, looking in here. Okay. Alright, well. Oops. If I had, like, been playing the game, I probably would have remembered that there was a locked door and then you get the thief's key and all that baloney. All that malarkey! Would have figured it out. Um... But didn't remember because we've been playing this kind of spurts. Uh, oh shit. That should be alright, right? No, it won't. Okay, okay. it'll be bad. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. No way, buddy. Oh! Oh, we're not doing all that crap. Sorry. You're supposed to conserve MP, you're supposed to play smart, but... I'm just not... I'm not having any of it. Sorry. We'll fight these guys regularly, though. They go down pretty quick. Quicker than that, please. Uh -oh.
You can see they actually used a couple assets from Dragon Quest VI, though. Look at them graphics. I hurt my eyes. Though, honestly. Hmm. What's in the chest? Wait, what did it- ah, oh shit. What did it say to zoom in? Press every button, is what it said, obviously, right? How much easier this way? Okay. By the way, you, it, you could literally have a ball just playing all of the various random intro sequences when you make a character. Oh, that's what it did. I know uh, one thing that was in uh, Dragon Quest VI that is kind of a pain in the ass, but also like kind of in situations like this, like you can tell it's kind of useful. Okay, pressed it again, didn't do crap. All right, great. Um, is memorizing conversations and then using the spell recall, but it's kind of a pain in the ass because you accidentally press the button all the time, and like things you actually wanted to remember get pushed to the. Uh -oh. But sort of like it. One of the things is a couple of the intro sequences that you get after you answer the questions to determine your character is act, like determine your character class. It's actually you do answer a bunch of questions and you do uh, like a test, and uh, you learn a lot about how Dragon Quest designs their dungeons and kind of how they do game design from those intro sequences. It's very, it's very interesting. You can spend a lot of time just on those. I think I only did one or two, or maybe just one. I thought I was trying to do more than one, but I, I got the same one I always get. Um, I think. But there's one where you play as a monster. There's a couple of them, you know, that are kind of weird like that. But the one I usually get, for whatever reason, I guess just because the answers I, uh, questions I answer, uh, or the answers I answer, um, the one I usually get is where you're walking through the dungeon and you gotta, you have to get, like, you have to walk through a dungeon in a certain particular way, is all I'm gonna say. There's one of them, though, where you play a monster and you kind of, like, just walk around a town and it kind of, like, just what you do as a monster determines kind of your character as well. There's a couple of them like that, they're really cool. You gotta check them out. There should be an FAQ on Game Pack just for that. But I don't think there is. I don't think anybody's actually ever found them all, maybe. Oh, look, at ours, slowing up, slowing up, yep, 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 running low on health, and it was... I like Cleric leveling up fast, I don't know why. Playing way outside of her class. Places any drop down, I feel like. Wait, this is the same damn room, isn't it? Hmm? It is. Oh, they all. That's unusual. Maybe it's just because it's based on the NES days. They don't want to polish it up too much, you know? But one thing I was talking about Dragon Quest uh, in particular is the way dead ends do do that. They do, they don't go on forever. A dead end is a dead end is a dead end. It just 
you get to a dead end. You saw it earlier a couple times. You get to a dead end, and you're at a dead end, and you move on with your life. Uh, some games just, just drive, can drive a man nuts with those stupid dead ends that go on forever. Expel and return. Expel is... Insta death move, I believe. And return is takes me back to the town, which I've been needing that, so it's all good. See, dead end. Didn't go on forever. It just, it just it's a dead end. We move on with our lives. Okay. But I am turned around already. Okay, alright, but. We need to take these guys out, buddy. They will do some damage. Uh, Herpa Derpa, is that true for, um, Dragon Quest VIII? When it, it has a different name. But is that true of the later games, or is that just the early ones? Because I, I know if you flee from a battle. I know that in a lot of RPGs, if you use an instant death move, there is no experience points gained. Shit, are you serious? Okay. Well, we can find out. Let's do some experimentation, so good. Oh, one enemy? Oh, it's only a 50-50 chance. We're not even going to find out. So, well, I'm just going to play this one. Great. The, the one I would use in Dragon Quest VIII a lot is the one that hits a wide area. Because it'll, like, you know, it'll 50-50 chance on a group of enemies is pretty good. I should, you know what, A should cast speed up on these guys and then hit them with fireball. Because if I can speed up R and get a, a, an attack out before C, well, we got lucky, but BAM! If I can get a speed up and get the fireball out before they attack, then it'll be worth it for sure. Right. So thanks, Erfordor, I, I, I think I knew something like that. But that's a lot of RPGs that do that. Um, oh, Mirage. I, I don't remember that one at all. Um, I suppose I'll put my best guy on it and see what he does. Um, actually, M is my best guy, isn't it? I'll put them both on it. Okay. I never, I never did play the NES version. If it was remade, generally I didn't play the original. I know that makes me like a heretic or whatever, but whatever. I think, I think we'll just go attack, attack, attack. Oh, wait, I should have distributed that one, shouldn't I? Just maybe one of the lesser guys. Okay. He's not so bad. Hor horny, horny hair is... The earlier version of that. That's a newer one. I know that much. Oh, come on! That was some bullshit RNG. But these guys are low level. We can take a few hits from these guys for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the hair. The hair family does generally uh, hit hard and has like mediocre defense. But they're, it's really their speed, obviously, but, you know, because they're rabbits. They, they'll outspeed you if you're not... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, so... Okay. Um, okay, I got turned around. I think we're running around in circles now.
I think the speed up was totally unnecessary, but whatever. I just wanted to see how it would work. Okay. Oh, wait. Should have just attacked. Shit. Target. Okay. They're wearing me down, though. Alright. Ooh. Generally, though, uh, my instincts are to explore everywhere. I actually want to find dead ends. Ooh. What? It's probably cursed, though, isn't it? Makes sense. Okay. Then again, Dragon Quest doesn't do stuff like that. It'll be like Devil Knife or something like that if it is. That I know this is dead end. We're just checking. Yeah, okay. Oh, dungeon wasn't so bad. What the fuck? If there's just one of them, you should be scared. Just a general rule. Um, okay. He's always got the defense going for him. Okay. Yeah, it's not so bad. Ooh! That wasn't so bad. Could have been bad if we were low on health or something, but... Oh great, we just made it to the second floor. I thought it was, this would be the end of the day. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, that's the exit for sure. Oh, wait. Uh oh. Yeah, alright. a lot of the Dragon Quest 5, uh, 3, 5, and 6, uh, enemies don't show up later in the series, for whatever reason. I've seen a couple I've never seen before. I should probably be conserving a little bit of MP, but we're gonna go with that a lot. Babble F? Uh oh. Wait. No. A, B, C, D, E, S. Alright. 
How you doing, Herbert? I haven't seen you around here that much. I've seen you in some other streams. Drink with so. Romilly. It, if I had just continued playing this game all at one time, I would have remembered what the hell I was doing. Oh, Bar I have to fight Baramos in this game? Oh, no! Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh. God, I'd rather fight in our turn, honestly. Iron Apron. Whatever. You got a better hat for A? reading the numbers wrong or do some of them go down yeah what the fuck the class system in this game i guess is extra complicated but i guess that's a good thing huh? and it does take surprisingly little grinding to raise that much money it's i know it seems like a lot if you're playing final fantasy star 2 and you come to this game where the fuck are we that music sounds like what? Huh? Monster Arena. I didn't know there was a mon- I didn't know you could actually collect monsters in this game. Maybe they brought it over from 5 for the remake. No. I ain't trying to fight an RNG fest. If I can go collect my own monsters and bring them to come fight, like in uh, 8, I'll do that, but I ain't about to do that shit. Which one was it? 7? Wait, I didn't hear what she said. Did that just cost me money? No. And by the way, don't listen to that bitch. She, she, ain't, she ain't gonna give you the right answer. Well, maybe she does in this one, but... Mm, I almost want to see what it's like. I don't know. Alright, so we'll, we'll do it your way. Lady, what do you got? Magician A. Alright. Actually, are in favor of uh, position A, but win less money. All right, well, I'll do a safe state and cheat. How about that? And see if, if it actually even helps. How about that? It, in, in, all, in all fairness, I usually do safe state just to see when the RNG is determined. Really, nothing like that. Okay. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, though. I mean, those animations are so good in this one. So, like, it's almost worth it. Ooh, nice hit though. Ooh, they're ganging up on him. Fucking bullshit! 
I knew I was gonna pick him too. Okay, all right. But, right. So we're gonna see if we can somehow manipulate the RNG. I think it was. I can't remember if it was seven or five or whatever. It, it, I figured out how to manipulate the RNG to get it to win. Oh, no, ac actually, oh, okay. Oh, it's not. It is. It's like pretty. It's like almost. It's CPU timing based. Actually, that's CPU. That's clearly CPU timing. So, like, I can actually sit here and do nothing. Do 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 do. do. Or did I move the cursor around? I can't remember. Oh shit. I pushed the button a little bit too many times, but I think this will do. I think this will work. X button press or Y button. Fuck me up. Alright, he has won every other match. So, without any time to attempt to uh, manipulate the RNG, let's see if I can win 210 gold for free. Let's see what's up. If he loses first, though, that's probably not a good sign for this game. Probably is like predetermined. But... No, I don't know. It... It would, it would definitely be Magician A that is guaranteed to lose because she said it. He's dead. Oh, come on. Come on, my boy. Got this. This is, a, this is an epic fight, though. Yes. Yay. That was cool. Alright, well, shit. It seemed like one of them was determined to win free on the outcome. I think the bunny always died first, and then Magician A always died second. And it was always a little bit different every time. So, I don't know. That lady's a bitch, basically, is all we learned from that. And also, 210 gold isn't nearly enough to buy all the equipment I need. Two, two things we learned, I suppose. Not only that, but if I had bet all those times and like did what the lady told me to every single time uh i would be like completely so the, the whole the one thing i learned from dragon quest is gambling doesn't work it's not it does it seems like you would make a lot of money really quick on roulette but it just doesn't seem to work so oh seriously we do have to fight vermos i thought they were talking about the last game uh-oh dude I ain't even trying to fight fucking Baron Lowe's son. I have nightmares from that legacy boss in Dragon Quest 9. Uh -oh. I wake up in a cold sweat thinking about fighting Baron Lowe's in Nocturne. I guess Draco Lord 99 is technically the hardest, but it's just because he's such he's such a tank. I mean, but like strategy wise, it's not that tough to do. Level 99, anything in that game is insane though i mean like a fucking knock down drag out down to your last mp down to your last healing item scratching and surviving with your last guy on one hit with the falcons a falcon sword falcon slash i mean it is a lot of grinding and it is a, not very much fun but if you can like get a level 99 legacy boss map off the internet which you can't actually do anymore can you they cut off the in the in Nintendo DS. Uh... Oh, it never was Wi-Fi. It was uh, it was uh, local Wi-Fi. That's right. So I guess uh, yeah, if you can get your a hold of uh, Dragon Quest Nine and a uh, Legacy Boss Map nine, level ninety nine without doing all the grinding, by all means, knock yourself out. Those level ninety nine pipes are totally worth grinding on all those freaking liquid metal slimes. 
they're just the, the funnest boss fights. Just from a RPG kind of like, you know. It'd be cool, it'd be cool if uh, the online was still on though, so you could do the online multiplayer, because as far as online multiplayer goes, there aren't a lot of turn-based online multiplayer games. They just aren't. And Dragon Quest IX really did it and really did it well, they're fun. I did everything there is to be doing this town, isn't there? Holy crap. It's a gambling town, that's it. I suppose. Okay. And I can't save here either, I can only save in the main town, that's great. The what now? No, I am not familiar with this item. Dude, I had that spell. Why are you fucking with me? Okay. Cool. Books are not like seeds, right? Books unlock jobs. Or whatever they call them. This game. You can't be serious. Ben is benediction? No. Please tell me I don't have to go all the way back. Dude. Like this is freaking Dragon Quest One. Dude, I'm too old for that shit. Save states, baby. Save states. Ain't that the best? All day long. Uh, but surely, like, I can save at the local king or something? No. That'd be too easy. Um. Don't you know this is Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest isn't that hard. It's just, a, it's just strategic. It's much, it's, it's funny. The Dragon Quest is generally considered harder than Final Fantasy, and it's really not. Final Fantasy has a lot of cheap difficulty and stuff like that. Uh. <coughs> Dragon Quest is a significantly easier than many RPGs of the time, uh, pre-Final Fantasy. Because if you die, you don't, you know, start from your last save or the beginning of the game. You just lose half your gold and go back to home. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. I can't, can I save here? Just tell me if I can save here. Tell me if I can save here. Thank you. So, come and talk to these people and then say, and take a smoke break. Right I'm sorry if I'm reading these over again and y'all are right up, but I can't read that fast. I was just looking for the guy to save. Okay. I should break out my Game Boy and play Dragon Quest 1. Something about that Game Boy synthesizer makes Dragon Quest 1's music so good for some reason. Recognize me as a true hero, hero, nigga. Do you know what my fucking job title is? Let me let me let me just pull something out real quick. What does it say? Info. Shala B. Hero, honest male, level seven with a damn copper sword. You want me to go pull up a motherfucker with a copper sword? And you gonna question whether or not I'm a hero or not? You know what, nigga? Cool. I wouldn't be a hero if I didn't want to earn it. So I'll let y'all enjoy the beautiful, uh, whatever that fucker's name is, the Dragon Quest music guy. He's better than Nibui Yamasu, I'll tell you that much. These big sweeping tracks that go on longer than you'll ever be in that area of the game. They go on forever. You think Jess's loop is hot? Jess from Advance Wars 2. This is the excuse for an ice bag, eh?
Oh, my bad.
actually. Hey, Ellie, what's up? So much for Street Fighter X Mega Man. I just suck at Mega Man. Clean Hippie. Cool name. So, Herper Derper. Skedaddle. It's cool. It's all good. He didn't talk to him. Oh. Oh, he was just giving me good information. That's all. I need the, uh, what, ultimate key? Well, that's actually really good advice for an RPG. Tell me which area has the harder, harder monster. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Cheater. What is that? Dude? Ooh! I still don't know those do. They're only in the Japanese game. They're, I don't think they're in any of the uh, American releases. The Pachishi ticket? I still don't know what they do. I can't find them in Dragon Quest V. I don't know what they do. Small medals are pretty cool. They were introduced actually in this game on NES. Or was it 4 on... I think it was 4 on NES. But small medals like get progressively better as the series goes on. Oh, wow. In Liege? Is, is that a proper use of the word Liege? Well, it could be used that way. No problem. Everybody says I should go north and kick his ass. You, so, and you seem to be a criminal and agree, so... Hey, if all the good guys and the criminals are on the same side, probably the right thing to do. I mean, depending on your definition of good guy. But, you know, Dragon Quest is kind of, it's, more, it's morally not so ambiguous. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of moral ambiguity when it comes to the storytelling, but it's just not a Dragon Quest thing. Oh wait, I already did this, didn't I? Well, nothing wrong with a little extra sleep. <sighs> huh? That's a bullshit. That's what that is. Okay. All right. Well, let's get a item in this. Oh, you know what we need though? You know what we don't have? I'm almost positive we don't have them, and we need them in these early games. I've just gotten such a habit of Dragon Quest 8 and 9 of saving stuff for alchemy, but I'm pretty sure you don't need them. I'm pretty sure it's not a problem in these games. Um, but, I have some full moon nerds. Probably, I don't usually ever use it, but I buy just some just in case. Um, no. I don't want any. Oh shit, I don't know how this works. Okay. Okay, but what we want, we want... <sighs> Sacred Knife isn't really worth the money. Pickle... Could be worth the money. Would be worth the money. Mm. 
call. A call. But, uh... I don't think really any of those are the right way to go. Serious? God, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, and this is an equipable. See, I should have just checked that. Okay. But this is sort of a wait, what kind of weapon? Is it a weapon? Oh, it's a weapon. Do I really want to equip an item called a hard heart, though? I don't think I do. driving crazy over here. I'm actually just gonna roll with this. me doing the attack. Yeah, 
pain as well. Just in case. Fuck you, man. Now I got one on my mood. Yes, I'm dancing to see the the. Ah, oh, it's all good, Eki. Clean hip, if you if you can just say it's all good, there, Eki. Well, th thank you for the love, Eki. I appreciate it, of course. Eki, Eki, Eki. Big, big fan of Eki, because uh, Eki all hooked me up with the old uh, StarCraft 2 Wings delivery. Oh, what? Pussy. <laughs> Ellie, why don't you tell this guy that I dance to anything that moves? You know what I'm saying? Do I dance to the Dragon Quest 3 battle music? Why would I not? I only like the funkiest shit ever. Oh, magic key. Right, magic key. No. Thanks. Right. <laughs> I, dance. <laughs> I dance when there's no music, too. Alright. Well, there's music. There's music. You can't hear it. It's in my heart. It's all good. Oh my god, what are these fucking things? Jeez. I can see why they didn't bring this energy back. Alright. <laughs> it's, it's a little too more. Carry it down, but tone it down. Take it down a notch. Kids playing. Jesus, got eyeballs hanging out and crap. But look at those animations though, am I right though? Look at that, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. Oh wait, I should have been taking this fight a little bit more seriously. These guys aren't exactly what's supposed to do. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna just do a little, memorize a little. Oh, so I guess they did bring that back, but I had to level up to get it. What? Fuck. <laughs> All right. All right, but I, I am I'm concerned about something else. Right, that's what I wanted. Oh, okay, cool. Eight, eight MP. What? It's free in Dragon Quest Nine. I thought that was a bit much, but better than eight. All right. Oh, we're actually not that hurt, we just don't have a lot of HP. Okay, um... Thank you, Eki. Stay safe, have fun now. Uh, El Ellie, tell uh, Eki I said thank you for coming. I would type it myself. Oh, I, I, I just will type it myself. We need to call it a scouting mission pretty much. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, great. Okay. Oh, return also please from the battle? I didn't know that. Oh.
hit? Oh my god. That was not the best round ever, I'll tell you that much. Ooh. Okay, we might be a little in our heads, is all I got to say. Okay. Shit. Come on, guys. Pull it out. Nice. Okay, well, I was... Hmm? What spell? What is this? What? 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 I didn't. I can't think of a status condition that sticks around other than cursed or uh oh uh oh paralyzed uh oh well. Dragon Quest 3 though, I mean, it's different, okay. Tougher, I gotta say, this is tougher than, I mean, Dragon Quest, this is gonna really, I always talk about how hard Dragon Quest is, strategy-wise, I mean, it's not super hard, it just, you know, requires a lot of strategy to, you know, be successful, you can't just mash buttons, and that hasn't really been exhibited until now, so. so hopefully we'll get a couple more fights like that, and, uh, we'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Oh, wouldn't you know it that uh, M is about to level up. Like, literally, like, about to level up. Yes, you already told me. Yes. So the question is, uh, is my girl still paralyzed? No. Okay. Yeah, video games are so sexist. Wait, why is A a male? That's weird. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna switch these up. I didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that. Okay. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself.
Yes, we're gonna keep doing that. The motif. Copy, 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 Ooh. And then poison? Exactly efficient, but I forgot about that uh, 2 XP that I had going. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna rest and save and uh, get back on the road. Oh, I do need to see something. Though. How long have we been streaming? Okay. Because this goes out to YouTube, I gotta. Uh, Keep it under two hours, which I, I fortunately was able to do on accident. Um, the other times I did this. December. Did I live like in the south uh, hemisphere or something? The fuck is this? We meet again. Fuck him up. You can do it, R. Oh, shit. There goes an integrator. Right? Just going back. Ugh. It actually is worth going back. Like cash money wise. But I'm not gonna save. Nah. I got I'll buy more. I'll buy some more medicinal herbs and some more antidote herbs. I didn't take it seriously. Okay. Wait, wait, why ain't it? It's not Pokemon, I guess. Probably, I guess, to buy more full mon herbs as well. Ah. 
I actually knew that already. Shit. Luckily, I'm not taking damage in a walk, am I? Please tell me this is cheaper than it. Uh... Yeah, no problem. Well, tough game, tougher, a lot tougher than I expected. I'll tell you that much. Just playing Dragon Quest VI, breezing through that shit. Okay. No. Yeah. All right. You don't take damage as you walk. It's just in combat. All right. I probably should know that already, but I can't. I don't think I remember at all. Okay. Hmm. Jesus, are expensive. Okay. Okay, alright, we should be semi-prepared this time. See what we can do. You get what you pay for, I guess. Okay. I gotta remember, I also had a lot more MP because of the custom characters you get in this game. They're a little bit more powerful than your typical Dragon Quest, you know, hero character. You know, pre-made, you know, has a personality. Um, gotta remember that. I can probably spare some MP. But, who knows what's gonna happen. So, what I'll do is... I didn't kill those motherfuckers. I need a, I need a boomerang, son. That's what I need. Or a whip, maybe? Or is a chain sickle a type of whip, I wonder? I guess I attacked the wrong group on that one. That's not, this is not good. Oh, well, we killed him. Ugh. Tank a pillar. Okay. I guess it's funny, tanks actually were first called tractors. Well, no, no, they weren't first called tractors. They were called tractors by uh, the Nazis. Because that's how they got away with making them. And Caterpillar makes tractors. Okay. I don't actually know what a chain cycle is, but it might be worth getting if it's a whip. Ooh. Boy, R took some damage on that one.
good night. Stay safe, have fun, okay? Thanks for coming, Ellie. It's always appreciated. <clears throat> Less than five hours. Tomorrow will be fun. Suppose you're being like facetious. Three steps. Great. Okay. <clears throat> Strat time. If this was just 3 MP, it would be worth it. It usually fails. I'm just still not happy. We never did talk about Marie. Okay, actually, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay down the firepower on these positions. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I didn't use... Ah, shit. No. Living there. Okay. I have one attack in three. guys hide out and this is like a good bad and the ugly or one of those type movies where they're having fun with the bad guys having maybe no what is this shit <laughs> the cheesy ticket maybe Okay, well, I didn't, that's not what I meant by that, but that's pretty <laughs> unusual for Dragon Quest to just find something on the ground. Is this the Pachisi? Oh, yeah, it is. This is what uh, 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 Itadaki Street is based off of. I knew that. Some part of my learning taught me that somehow. Hey, it should be alright. And besides, we can probably play one round before I have to cut this string. For, you know, I'll start it back up again for a little bit different game. Place your request now. And the, what? Uh oh. Pentagon. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, well. I have a feel for the way now. Let's see what we got. to do. Exactly look inviting. Okay. Just don't land on the trap doors. We should be alright, right? And it has something to do with my stats.
Oh shit. Ah, oh, cool. Die, bitches. Well, this is surprisingly easy, though, right? What is this, Mario Party? That's some bullshit. Hold on. I ain't, there ain't no way I'm letting that switch shit slide. Oh, come on. Legitimately, I'm cheating. I, look how much I give a shit. Okay. Are we fighting a boss? Oh. Uh oh. Wait. This is almost worse than a boss. Um. Oh, nice. A lot easier the first time. It's all good. I'm to remember. I'm sorry, is there, is there something different about that than uh I'd rather not, but Ah oh, shit, it's like that's the weirdest fucking thing. So popular in Japan. All right. Literally, Iidaki Street is really popular in Japan for some reason. I understand it's like a much more complicated board game, but still. Baller. Guess what I'm wearing. Oh wait. By the way, all my homies had to wait back. This is kind of fucked up though.
Oh, my people's with me. All right. I don't have to tell you guys, it was crazy. Should have been there. Okay. So, oh. hey, that was pretty fucking cool, though, bro. It's not a. That's a. See, that's why this is uh, memorize more. Okay. Whatever you're trying to do, pinnacle, I'll resolve it in just a second. Okay. Just for now. <clears throat> so we'll head out. Maybe maybe do some grinding next time. Who the fuck knows? Honestly. Uh things a bit of a trip. Um Toughest Dragon Quest I ever played, and I played pretty much most of them. One and two on Game Boy. And uh seven, eight. Five, six, four on DS. It's all of them but this one, I just realized. And Tim. Yeah, this is the one that is the prettiest, so. I guess it's unconsciously I was saving it for last. I didn't necessarily beat all those games. Never beat seven per se. I mean, there's a lot to do in 7, though, so that's not a mi it's no minor statement, but... And that's Dragon Quest for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was a good time. And, uh... Maybe next time I won't cheat so much. I, I didn't really cheat that much, did I? Other than the Pachisi. Is it par cheesy? And I've heard of par cheesy. Is it put cheesy? That's Ikida it's Itadaki Street though. I know I'm almost positive that Itadaki Street is entirely based on that minigame. And I couldn't tell you I I've never seen it before. So I couldn't tell you which Dragon Quest it started in, but it would make sense it would be this one. This was uh, quite a big deal at the time. This little remake. It was no it was a small remake. Quite a big deal. Of course, in Japan, I mean, we we had Dragon Warrior one through four, but it never it it they gave it away for free with a subscription to Nintendo Power, the first game. But it just wasn't it wasn't really polished enough, and uh, it, it's a great game. I mean, all the Dragon Quest games are great, but the first Dragon Warrior just wasn't polished enough, and it tried really hard to resonate with Western audiences with a weird translation. And although, hey, it's great, the translation is not necessarily bad. Um, 
it lost somewhat of its charm. And the, the anime graphics were just unknown to the West at the time. We just didn't have anime. Um, so by the time that 5 on Nintendo, on Super Nintendo 6 and Dragon Quest 3 remake and subsequently Dragon Quest 4 remake on PlayStation, by the time they were released, Enix just wasn't seeing the benefits of releasing in America when generally you sell a million copies on NES. You just sold a million copies of whatever game you published, but they weren't selling. So Super Nintendo comes around and uh, Chrono Trigger didn't do good. Final Fantasy didn't do good. RPGs did not do good, and I mean, a lot of a lot of people like to pretend like, oh, Final Fantasies were super popular on Super Nintendo. Not the case. Tales of Fantasia was not released in the West, among others. Um, you go you look at a translation, uh, just the, just the sheer volume of RPGs that are fan translated on Super Nintendo, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it actually wasn't a terrible move. The only problem was, it really wasn't until they packed in Final. You know, it really was not until Final Fantasy VII, and then the, they were like, "Hey, Dragon Warrior VII, we'll try it again." They didn't call it Dragon Quest. They didn't change their translation technique. They did all the things that they did wrong in the original Western releases for Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Warrior VII. But when it came around for Dragon Quest VIII, they were like, mm, We'll leverage the the popularity of some other RPGs and sort of the retrospect, the rose-colored glasses of the Super Nintendo era, and uh, we'll leverage that. And uh, hey, Dragon Quest Nine, Dragon Quest Eight sold very well. Most of that can be attributed to the Final Fantasy Twelve demo, but uh, Dragon Quest Nine um, really turned it around. And ironically, um, they they decided to go in a radical direction based off the success of Dragon Quest IX for Dragon Quest X, and it didn't even sell well in Japan. Dragon Quest VII re-release on 3DS did, in fact, sell well, so there's still hope for the series, and uh, it's just a strange situation that such a great series is not the most successful, but it, it really shouldn't be the most successful these days. These other games are not really successful in the sense that they reach their target audience. They just reach a audience. So, <clears throat> as it is, <clears throat> the most bizarre part is the fact that Dragon Ball Z is still popular in America. It's just not elsewhere. Um, it's it's like have, we all have fond memories of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, they have. They don't really like anime that much in Japan, believe it or not. I mean, it has its audience, but it's not. It's, it's not as ubiquitous as it is. To, we we like nostalgia here in the West. We like we like thinking back on the old days. They do in Japan too, even more apparently when it comes to Dragon Quest. But all that aside, stay safe, have fun, remember the most important thing: be excellent to one another, and party on, dudes.